Hey guys, how's it going? Today I have to speak about the subject of is gene modification acceptable? Think about all these sci-fi films where basically they have genetically modified humans so that they could be half animal, half human, or they could they could have all the best assets of a tiger, of a lion, and all these things. So that's kind of like science fiction in some ways. But at the same time, what's happening now is that they actually can have these uh, modifications uh, that can be made to basically uh, unborn babies. So that when they are in the womb and all that stuff, they can get born with blue eyes or with blonde hair or they can be tall, short, they can be female or male and all these different things. But on the other hand, another thing that they also want to do is destroy diseases or if, for example, you are from a family that has uh, or is known to have heart condition or if you are from a family that is known to have dwarfism or if you're a family that is prone to X, Y, and Z illness, um, well, basically, they can modify that. But is that okay? Is that really a condition? For example, dwarfism, um, if you speak to a lot of dwarves, they don't say that it's a condition. It's, it's just the way that they look. It's kind of like saying that we want to make sure that our baby can never be obese. Uh, or that he will have that sort of body type or this and this and that and whereas it's kind of cool you got to think that um, we're all made of different shapes and sizes and different things and it's not because maybe in our pop culture or maybe uh, in the way that we look at things in magazines or on television uh, we only tend to type portray one sort of human being that basically um, everybody has to look that way uh, because basically having different types of body types different types of uh, eye colors hair colors all these things are beautiful too so that's where it gets a little bit weird I do think that if it's um, conditions that are known like you can make for example kind of like with plants right we've basically genetically modified uh, plants such as the watermelon for example which was actually didn't contain that much water and was kind of small and bitter and nowadays it's super sweet super big contains so much water and all that stuff and basically we've modified it to make it more acceptable to make it more something that we would desire as human beings and we would enjoy same with apples same with bananas that were much smaller and stuff like that so We've genetically modified these foods in order to make our uh, enjoyment of them better. And in the same way, now we have this thing where we can make, or we're at, uh, we can't really modify everything yet, but we are able to modify before a uh, baby's born and stuff like that, like the eye color and all these things. And that's already been going on. But I'm talking about being able to change down to the root of your thing maybe making you less prone to Alzheimer's or making you less pr prone to heart conditions maybe those kind of babies could be eating as much junk food as they want but still remain slender and healthy so that's where the debate comes and then also obviously you can also do the reverse where you make people worse give them conditions make them sick and stuff like that and that could be uh, sort of biological weapons how they say um, so I personally think it's okay to accept uh, these changes to to do changes because why not enhance the people that are going to be born why not give them a better life they can be prone to having more muscular bodies and better hearts and better intelligence and all that stuff why not now I do think that it's still beautiful to have differences to have different eye colors different hair colors different heights different genders and all these things and uh, in some way why you know why not have it but at the same time I do understand the point of uh, people who 
uh, might look different, might be different, and say, well, I'm not a condition, I'm normal, which they are. Um, it's just that they don't really understand why they would want to have that change. But at the same time, why not have enhanced humans? Because having enhanced bodies, having enhanced looks, having enhanced brains, having enhanced X, Y, and Zs will make those people get, have a better life, right? They'll be able to do things faster, better, smarter, and enjoy life in the end better. So why not modify nature, make it better than it is, and make our life and our earth a better place? Because after all, in a lot of ways, biology and all these things, it's so random. It's just trying to get better and to better itself. And we do vaccines and we change so many things with operations and blood transfusions and all these things. So why not go one step ahead and make ourselves better? I'm not saying that you, can, you should modify the way you are if you're already born. I'm just saying we can modify the future children and make them even better, even stronger, even faster. And in the end, just make this world a better place. So that's it. That's all I had to say on the subject. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.